Taking a first glance at these images which have kept the internet and social media buzzing, you're not too sure whether or not they are pictures, paintings or drawings. These works of art are the handiwork of an African man, a Nigerian, 35-year-old Olumide Oreshegu. Olumide has an HND distinction in painting from the Yaba College of Technology. It tells us about his unique style, which he calls hyper-classical realist drawings. Hyper means of exceeding the limits of realism uh, as we are going, uh, pushing forward. That is what we mean by hyper. How so I've been practicing immediately, I left Yabatek. So the, 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 the moment I started um, painting, I, saw, I felt at least um, what I'm doing is um, bringing little money for me, so I keep on doing it. Yabatek then, what I was trying to do then was to just perfect my, my skill by trying to draw figures most especially figures, because I felt the figures is the most difficult thing for an artist to create. In as much as you can create a figure very well, you can create other scenes. Olumide is the new star on the block in the world of art. He gives life to his drawings, showcasing every minute detail. He shares his childhood experiences and his mom's encouragement, which has always been his inspiration. Olumide also enjoined parents to nurture the talents in their children. There are so many things, activities in, in life. My environment inspired me. Uh, my, my childhood story inspired me. Uh, life story inspired me. Uh, so many things they, they, in Nigeria inspired me also. I just got inspired by my mom then. But I think uh, she was the one that normally um, gave me Jota then. We normally call it Jota, it's drawing book. So she, she was a printer. So whenever she comes from the printing or workshop, she cuts the pieces of paper and kills it. Instead of me using uh, my exercise book or um, big notes to draw, so she prepared those things for me. So uh, it gave me the passion that at least I can draw as much as possible on the drawing uh, sheets. So most times while I was in school, when I see um, drawing, uh, drawing book sold, I felt like uh, the one I have at home is much bigger than this one that I said. So even then, uh, my teachers that I could remember in primary school, uh, they, whenever they see those shoes, just like because it's going to be an envelope, it's going to be big, in like 100 uh, leaves, and they, they see students using 100 leaves to draw, they will be mad, they'll come, tell your mom to give me those things, bring it to school tomorrow, and, and uh, you can, the parents can do in such um, Aspects because uh, when you, the parents see their ch children doing something uh, remarkable, they can definitely assist him or her by uh, trying to get the materials that he or she needed to, to groom in her. So when they groom, him, at least uh, they won't regret it later in life. How does it feel with him and his works being compared with international great artists, especially Mona Lisa? And do Nigerians really appreciate art? I feel, I feel happy and I feel of, um, happy, um, feel grateful to, to be seeing people liking my work. Um, it's not, uh, I, I didn't start today, I started like, uh, my first exhibition was 2011, second 2014. So, in the process, um, I felt, um, the moment uh, the moment I do something that I like and people appreciate it, give me a puppy, give me joy. Uh, yes, it's appreciate, but uh, in monetary, monetary it's not ready because uh, not everybody can afford the, the cost of the material, um, the, the prices, you know, the time frame the artist used in producing the piece. And when you calculate all these things when you, and you give, give charges on it, it's quite going to be uh, difficult for somebody to just bring their money and pay. But at least, uh, just like in, in other parts of the world, it's only the highlights and the, 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 the people that love us more that opportunity.
no matter how good a photograph is, um, at the long run, it's some 10 years, 20 years, the, the, color, the color print will change. The color print will change. But let me tell you something that will change in hearts. The color won't change, but it will only flake. What I mean by flake, it will crack in the long run. When you go to uh, France, you see Mona Lisa's work, like 500 years uh, old now, you're still there with the, the same color, but you can see the crack because of the temperature that uh, it, it has um, undergoes. So. Olumide Oreshegun has been on this journey right from school, but now he's gaining the attention of everyone from every nook and cranny of the world, all because of his unique style of painting, oil and canvas in 3D. When I was in school then, um, I always, people always love seeing my works because I draw um, people with like 15 figures in a painting, which is clear, mostly hard for some people. One figure in a painting is quite hard. So seeing, seeing myself drawing like um, 15, 20 uh, people, especially in, in the market scene, so those are the things that give me a um, hedge, like pushing my, my skill forward. Analyza kind of painting is quite um, interesting. These are the people that um, artwork that we looked while we were young. So um, when you look at something created by the whites and um, you see yourself trying to uh, be in the line as the creator of those works. So you need to like, you can't limit yourself to that level. You need to like push forward and work towards achieving what they have achieved. Most of the time I paint, I always have it at the back of my mind that I want the work to be intriguing in as much as how small or how deep it is. Uh, so not everybody wants their work to be intriguing in as much as you can just draw it and paint it. Not everybody have that kind of mindset. So I always have that mindset that I want my work to be intriguing. So that is an, an, an advantage and hedge. So at the end of the day, when I, when I got that idea, and I, I keep pushing on that idea, and uh, I get to know that after getting a, a, a 3D effect, you need to like push it forward by detailing, which is quite important because they are so, everybody cannot draw a finger quite well. I realize that most people are hide from drawing fingers. Most people hide from drawing toes. Most artists hide from drawing an open eye. Most people try to like draw, the, immediately do the paint, the, the eyeball, the, the face, they close the eye. So it's quite difficult for you to treat eye. So these are the things that I thought uh, 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 something that those of my held us in the field lacked. So I felt okay, it's a challenge for me if I wanted to, to, to be an artist, I have to like cover those holes. Those children can't stay longer in the sun because most times they um, I always allow them to be in the sun because those those are the periods that can get a three-dimensional effect. Because if you, you stay indoor, you only get the flat uh, surface. And you know, in this period, you can't you, you can't use lighting because if you you are in a situation whereby you have light regularly, you can definitely make use of um, in the, uh, indoor lighting to create a sun effect. So I try to like make sure the sun is out before I take any picture, before I come make a composition. And those students go tired sometimes, but they, they will be in the heat. Because if I haven't gotten what I wanted to paint, or uh, the idea that I wanted to get in the picture, they are, they are not going to leave the sun. For this Nigerian hyper-classical realist was taking African creativity to the next level. With this kind of unique works, Olumide Oreshegun may well feature in the history of world's art record.